All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Now, I'm going to be using i5K 7K graphics pack. If you can find it on his Twitter, you will have to scroll down a lot, but I'm pretty sure you can still find it. If you don't have a graphics pack, you can look for them online. Um, there's a ton for free. Or you can just go on Google right over here and go to Lightning Stock Effects. Lightning Stock Effects. And as you can see, there is a ton to use these. You just have to right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop, edit, go to paste change the mode to screen and as you can see you can use your effects and now uh, yeah i'm just gonna try some of these effects so here's one i'm gonna take my eraser tool and erase out the ones i don't want to use right and i'm just gonna take this one i'm going to place it accordingly where i want it there we go right over there and I'm just gonna scroll through see what else there is I'm gonna try this one control T to rotate to rotate and we're just gonna place this one right here I think it should be fine so control T right click and go to warp let's adjust these and we're just gonna zoom in with our eraser tool hit E on your keyboard we're just going to raise up some parts. Just going to match it. Alright, so we have that. I'm going to try this one right over here. Maybe drop this down. No, nope, actually, I'm going to keep this on top. And I want to erase out this part actually. So let me take this out. Alright, so I got this and let's place this right over here. So yeah, for this part, just uh, find out what effects you want to use and how you want to place them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you right after this. Alright, so next what I want to do is I'm going to go to uh, I'm gonna go to hue saturation, 
turn on colorize and I'm going to go to blue increase the saturation and I'm going to go right click go to blending options and I'm going to go over here now I'm just going to hold alt drag this and we change the mode to overlay and that will give us this really nice effect there we go I'm going to create a new layer we're going to go to our brush and we're going to select a blue color. There we go. Now with this, we're just going to brush along the hand and the lightning. Just like that. There we go. We're going to go to overlay. Turn this down. We're going to copy it. So hit control J. Turn this up and go to screen. So we got this and make a new layer and you just want to keep on brushing so I'm going to brush on the player as well on the character right over here and on the floor just pretty much everywhere on the floor down here and if you want you could go to blur to kind of soften the uh, the brush go to overlay and as you can see that looks very nice copy this again let's go to the screen create a new layer and go to your brush again go to white change the color to the overlay and we can just paint over here for some brightness now make a new layer and go to your gradient tool right over here this is right below the eraser I have the color from uh, black to transparent so you just want to click on this one foreground to the transparent and change the color double click to black I have this on linear as you can see and uh, you just want to drag we're gonna make some vignettes you wanna make sure your foreground color is on black and we're just gonna drag and make some uh, vignettes effects as you can see Oops. There we go. We could lower this. Make a new layer, do the same thing. Just keep making it better. Um, change this to overlay. There we go. And for some final adjustments, you could go to gradient map, change the mode to overlay, and I'm just gonna mess around with these gradients right over here. So I like this one. I'm going to turn it down. Once you are happy, um, click on the top layer, hold shift, and click on the bottom layer. Hit Control G to group everything up. Now hit new layer, go up to image, and go to um, apply image and you want to hit OK now we have the image on a separate layer and we also have a backup right over here the group now we're just gonna take this control J to copy camera raw filter now you want to play around with the settings so adjust it however you like until you get a result that you want Also, you can add some smoke to the scene. It just makes it a bit more uh, dramatic. Very subtle, but it looks nice. This one right over here. Um, let's place this. There we go. Tone it down. And also on this side. There we go. You can use your eraser to tone it down I'm 
But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button if this helps you. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. We have a lot more stuff coming soon. And I will see you all next time.